Good Sunday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure is working across the coastal sections of south central and southeastern Alaska. It's down to 998 millibars with another piece of the storm working through Bristol Bay at 993 millibars. It's fairly strong and bringing a lot of wind to the Kodiak Island area as well as parts of the Alaska Peninsula. And periods of heavy rain have been passing through south central and southeastern Alaska as a fire hose that we call an atmospheric river is pointed right at the Gulf Coast region. It's tapped into some tropical moisture, and that will be the case for a large part of the week as the overall weather pattern that we're seeing across the Pacific will be able to generate these atmospheric rivers and point them toward southwest and south central Alaska, while southeast will start to move toward a drier pattern, although it will still be wet tonight. Parts of the northern sections of southeast still looking at some heavy rain. Again, yesterday we were talking about uh, rainfall amounts that could reach upwards of five inches in some cases. That will be true as well as some areas around Prince William Sound looking at a pretty decent soaker as we get into the early part of next week. Low pressure sitting close to Shelikoff Strait and the Kodiak Island area will keep rainfall going there across southwest and south central Alaska. For the interior, pockets of rain and snow will continue tonight. It should be fairly warm enough for that to mix through the evening and overnight hours. Across the Arctic coast, it will be mainly snow and in some cases from Barrow down to Wainwright, Point Lay, Point Hope, and around Cape Lisburn, look for an opportunity of one inch or more. Some of that could extend eastward toward Kaktovik as well. But the farther south you go toward the hills, the better chance you'll be of finding some rain and snow. A look for low pressure across the western Bering Sea. That's down to 978 millibars. Another powerful Bering Sea storm will move across the southern seas as we work into Monday night and Tuesday, bringing a pretty healthy fetch of south and westerly wind right into southwestern Alaska and south central. Periods of Heavy rainfall may be possible for western Alaska as well as very mild air for the season. Look for the cold front to work across south central Alaska as we get into Tuesday afternoon. Meanwhile, drier air and high pressure starts to cut off that wet fire hose flow for parts of southeast with a 1,031 millibar high blocking that wetter pattern for places like Juneau, Craig, Ketchikan, and Klawak. Another storm's hot on its heels. Make sure you stay tuned to weather.gov through the rest of the week. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder.